Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Now, firstly, apologies for the lack of a video last week, as, uh, well, I wasn't actually feeling particularly well. I had um, this cold that's been going around all over the place, and, well, when you're like that, you really don't feel like doing much, let alone doing a cider review. But I'm back this week, just about got over the cold, and we're back with the Thatcher's Cider Company, which I do believe is my last cider to review from the guys, which so happens to be their Prince William variety. So, before we get around to tasting and everything, let's go and get the lowdown on Thatcher's Prince William. Thatcher's Prince William comes in 500ml bottles, which is the only way you can get it at this moment in time as well. The alcohol percentage is a pretty standard 4.5% in volume, and according to the front of the uh, bottle it's going to be a dry tasting cider too. And with uh, most other Thatcher's ciders you can get a single bottle for £1.60 off their website, which to be honest is actually not bad value for money. Now then, I like to um, do a little bit of researching before doing reviews, and I couldn't really find much about the Prince William apple, mainly because it's actually one of the latest um, varieties of apples to be cultivated. In fact, I think it was only cultivated this year, hence why the Prince William is the most recent of Thatcher's um, single variety ciders. All I do know is that, um, as it says on the front of the bottle here, that it's um, a red apple and it's going to be apparently dry tasting. That's pretty much all I know. So apparently there's been like 25 other new varieties of ciders that have been cultivated, like um, one of them's called Early Bird, and three others have been renamed after members of the royal family, this one being one of them. So, on the back it says, Thatcher's Prince William is a dry single variety cider that captures the distinctive fresh and light taste of Prince William apples. A delicious refreshing cider, bright, clear and slightly sparkling. Thatcher's Prince William is crafted at our family farm in Somerset, where we've been making cider using traditional methods for over a hundred years. So there we go. Um, I'm going to waste no more time and crack this bottle open. Now, will it be going out on a high note with Thatcher's? I'll soon be finding out. Let's go and get a whiff. Well, actually, the thing that that reminds me of... Ages ago, I remember um, Thatcher's did a Spartan variety, which um, had kind of a light but also dry nose. And this smells pretty much exactly like that. Yeah, you've, got, you've just got a very nice, light, dry aroma. There's nothing too overpowering here. But overall, it actually does smell quite pleasant. So let's go and pour it in the glass and see... Uh, let's go and see what I make of it, shall I? Kind of sad that this is going to be uh, the last Thatcher's review from me, unless, of course, they bring out some more single-variety ciders, which I hope they do. To be honest, um, Thatcher's track record has been really good. There's only been one or two below average ciders from them, so let's go and have a look at Prince William Cider up close. Well, it's um, very light in colour again, pretty much straw-like, and as you can see, it is, uh, well, they say lightly sparkling, but I don't know, don't know about you, but that looks like quite hefty carbonation as well. Holding a little bit of um, froth on the top, but nothing too substantial. I'm sure that'll dissipate quite quickly. So, any more smells in the glass? No, not really. You're still just getting um, a light, you know, just a light dry note. Although, strangely enough, I mean, I know um, Thatcher's are industrial cider makers, you know, they're not real cider makers, but um, there's a slight hint of um, artificialness to this one, which um, I really hope isn't in the taste, but I'll be finding out now. So, Cheers guys, here's to Thatcher's and their uh, Prince William single variety cider. Hmm. Hey, you know what? That's not too bad at all, actually. Um, hmm. Very, very light tasting, as on the nose as well. You've got um, a kind of, a, again, a very mellow dry hit on the initial taste as it um, hits your taste buds and then you're kind of um, you're kind of left with kind of like a sort of a bittery sort of taste let's just uh, get a second opinion mm. 
Yeah, it tastes um, quite acidic as well, actually. It's a little bit astringent, which, um, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting, it, you know, especially seeing as it said it was going to be a, um, you know, a light cider. But, um, yeah, you got, you got um, as I said, a light, dry note on the start, but it strangely does kind of change and go into like a sort of like a, almost like a bittersweet sort of taste right on the aftertaste. I can't really get much else on the aftertaste actually, You're just left with like a little um, bit of sweetness as it's going down your throat and then there's really not a lot else unfortunately. You're left with um, quite a nice dry finish though, so um, that's one thing. Let's get another one. Do you know what this, um, this cider would be perfect for? If, um, other cider drinkers out there, if you're a fan of more sweeter sort of ciders, um, and are just kind of branching out into the more dry varieties, but you're kind of put off by, like, the vintages which have those really overpowering dry hits with the oakiness and stuff like that, this would actually be a real perfect starter for this because it's dry, but it's just not got that you know, that overpowering um, aroma and taste that some other dry ciders do have. It's light, it's um, almost kind of got like a fruitiness to it as well, which, you know, for most dry ciders, you know, you don't really sort of get. Um, but yeah, there's nothing, nothing overly overpowering with this one, but it's just, it's, it's light, as I've said like a million gazillion times already. And yeah, it's a bit of a refreshing one as well, so um, you know what? I'm going to go and get a final taste before the final verdict. Hmm. Yeah, there's still, there is that little bit of sweetness on the, um, on the through taste, as it were. So it starts off dry and gets into more bitter bitterness, but there is that nice little bit of acidity right at the start that just gives it a little bit more of a kick. It's just a real shame that the flavours don't seem to um, last quite long with this one. Um, but again, you are left with quite a nice dry finish. And really, this is a, a very nice refreshing cider that really I think anyone could actually have. Is it the best single variety cider I've had from Thatcher's? Mm, probably not. I'd say my favourite single variety is the Katie, but you know what? I think this is actually um, quite a close second. So, for a verdict, I'm going to go and give Thatcher's Prince William Cider a 7 out of 10. Um, yeah, I, I'd suggest going out and getting a bottle of this. I mean, £1.60 from the Thatcher's website, I feel, is an absolute steal, because for some other um, 500ml bottles, you can pay up, upwards of, like, two odd quid, depending on what it is. But yeah, I can see this um, suiting anybody, really, and as I said... Oh, excuse me, a little bit of a belch there. <laughs> and an even louder one. Um, but yeah, I can see this catering to anyone really, especially people that are just kind of like branching out in trying like more dry ciders rather than sweet ones. This will be a really good starter for that, so I would highly suggest checking it out. So, there we go, another episode of the Cider Drinker for you guys. Hope you liked it, and well, I'm kind of sad that this, um, for the moment, is going to be my last Thatcher's review, so hopefully they'll make more uh, single variety ciders, or even more pear or mixed fruit ciders in the future. We'll have to wait and see for that one. But until next time, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Until then, I'm going to go and finish off this glass of Thatcher's Prince William. Take care, guys. Until next time.